Last November, Jurgen Klopp dropped a bombshell call to Fenway Sports Group President Mike Gordon. And the ripples are still echoing in the football world. Stick around as we dive into why Klopp decided to bid farewell to Liverpool and what the future holds for the club. Now, picture this. Liverpool 2.0. Soaring after a summer rebuild. But the upbeat progress report isn't what the American owners, John W. Henry and Tom Werner, expected. Klopp spills the beans to them, revealing that this season is his Anfield swan song. His decision in April 2022 to extend his contract until 2026 had brought cheers, but this time, it's a shocking U-turn. It's not about money or a new job. Klopp just needs a breather from the relentless world of elite management. The owners respect his decision, giving him time and space. Fast forward to last Friday, Klopp takes the stage alone, spilling the beans on why he's bidding adieu. His inner circle, including Pep Linders and Peter Krawietz, are also headed for new challenges. Klopp's emotions run high in a packed media room at the AXA Training Center. He recalls questioning his readiness for the next season during pre-season meetings. Last season struggles, where Liverpool fell to fifth in the Premier League, took a toll. Klopp's managerial style, fueled by energy and emotion, led him to a pivotal decision it's time to stop. The bombshell drops. Klopp's departure is dubbed the last dance by some players, expecting one last shot at glory. But it's a bombshell, leaving staff and players in utter shock. Klopp, revitalized with Liverpool's recent successes, jokes that leaving is partly the player's fault for reaching such heights so soon. So, what now? Klopp rules out a Sir Alex Ferguson U-turn. No advice on a successor from the old man. He clarifies that financial backing from FSG wasn't a factor in his decision. Klopp, acknowledging the club's self-sustaining model, has transformed Liverpool since 2015, making his legacy remarkable. The search for a successor kicks off. FSG's plan is to appoint a new sporting director before naming the next manager. The departure of interim sporting director Jorg Schmatke adds to the uncertainty. With key players' contracts on the horizon, negotiations will hinge on the club's direction. Zabi Alonso emerges as a frontrunner, impressing at Bayer Leverkusen. But wait, there's more. Brighton's Roberto Di Zerbi, Tottenham's Ange Postek Oglu, and Brentford's Thomas Frank join the mix. Julian Nagelsmann's Euro journey adds another layer to the intrigue. As Klopp's decision sends shockwaves, other Premier League clubs feel the anxiety of the looming vacancy. FSG executives assure fans they're in for the long haul no plans to sell their majority shareholding. The winds of change are blowing at Anfield, and we're here to ride the wave with you. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for all the latest updates. Until next time, this is High Tech Sports, signing off.